So you laid your eyes on Surfshark, one of the top VPN services, and it looks quite good with its slick interface and affordable price, but how do you use it? Here's my Surfshark tutorial where I give step-by-step -step instructions and delve into the bits most Surfshark review videos often skip. Let's get to it. The first step in using any product is buying it. With Surfshark, that's easy. First, you decide how long of a subscription you want, and then you select the plan. The standard one gives you a VPN with an ad blocker. The premium one is a whole bag of nifty features like an antivirus and breach alert function. I'll go with the premium now because those additional features bring a lot of value. Next up, you choose a payment method and that's it. Just a tip, Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee and if you are creating your account through an Android or iOS application, you also get a free seven day trial. I checked and it works. And the final bit, downloading Surfshark VPN on different platforms differs slightly. On Windows and Linux, you just use the website, while on iOS and Android, you must go through a relevant app store. And on Mac, you can choose either option. Easy. Now the installation on any device is easy. It works exactly like any other program. You wait for the bar to fill up, log in, and done. Your VPN is ready to go. By the way, Surfshark actually offers a lot of discounts. We hunt for them and always update our descriptions with working ones. And you can even scan this QR code to get the deal of the day and shave some more bucks off your Surfshark VPN subscription. Now onto something any Surfshark tutorial has to mention, the settings. Surfshark offers less customizations than some other providers like NordVPN, but that's also the reason I recommend Surfshark VPN for beginners. It's just really easy to use. I'll be showing the Windows version and there are some notable differences on other platforms that I'll mention. Oh, and just a little sidetrack, you can use your Surfshark subscription on unlimited devices, which is something a lot of software manufacturers could learn from. Okay, so let's go to the settings on the left side and check out what we have there. In the VPN settings, you can find several important choices. For example, enabling launch on startup and autoconnect, two great time-saving features that are rather self-explanatory. Then you have clean web, which is Surfshark's built-in ad blocker and the kill switch. If enabled, it disconnects you from the internet if something happens to your VPN server, which is useful for the cases when you don't want to be unprotected even for one second. Personally, I keep it on while browsing public networks. Then there's the bypasser, which is Surfshark's take on split tunneling. It allows you to add apps you don't want to connect through the VPN or the ones that will always be routed through it. For example, you can stream local content on one app, but then browse through a VPN on another app or vice versa. Unfortunately, this feature is not available on Apple products. And to be honest, no VPN provider found a way to implement them. Mm, Apple. And then down here, you can find the rotating IP feature, which basically nukes your internet footprint by completely changing your IP every five to 10 minutes. Good luck to anybody trying to track your activity then. Now back to the app settings, you can choose your language, customize your notifications and switch to the dark mode. And that's pretty much it. Okay, with the options out of the way, let's talk about using Surfshark VPN. The quick connect button on the right is gonna be your best friend for daily browsing. In my Surfshark VPN review 2023, I've said it does not always connect as quickly as I would like, but that's just something I learned to live with. Sorry, I just had to throw a bit of nitpicking in there. But if you need to connect to some specific place, for example, to enjoy exclusive streaming content, you can select one of Surfshark's ample servers on the left. And don't forget to use the search function for easier access because there are a lot of servers there. Surfshark also offers a couple of options to go with their selection. One of them is static IP, which allows you to keep your previous IP while connecting to the same server again. Another one is multi-hop. Now, if rotating IP is nuking your footprint, multi-hop is like going in with a team of disguised virtuosos. That's right, it channels your data through two VPN servers, so you have double the safety, something you might need if you have, I don't know, an 
oppressive government on your tail? Of course, for most tasks, a regular VPN connection works just fine, and it offers optimal speed results. With a baseline of 300 megabytes per second, Surfshark actually got one of the fastest speeds of any VPN across most locations. When I tried measuring it, for example, it was way faster than ExpressVPN, AtlasVPN, and IPVanish. And that's one of the things that, at least for me, makes Surfshark worth it. Of course, you might have a worse or even better speed experience because VPN speeds depend on your location a lot. And congratulations, now you know how to use Surfshark VPN. I would still like to talk about their security options for a bit, because that's like the whole point of having a VPN. A lot of VPN providers say they offer military-grade encryption, which can mean whatever you want. Thing is, Surfshark's encryption is an industry standard and is virtually uncrackable. So a VPN is great at protecting your data from governments, internet service providers, and mega corporations who just don't give a damn about morals. But then your data is still at the hands of your VPN provider who can do anything at once with it, right? Fortunately, Surfshark is one of the providers that use RAM-only servers. So they are physically incapable of saving your data. They have a no logs policy policy, and they have been audited three times. The first audit confirmed that their browser extension is legit. The second one was focused on their server security, and the latest Surfshark audit checked the no logs policy. So that's it. Here's your Surfshark tutorial and review. True, it has flaws. For example, it might take a while while connecting to servers and you don't get all the features on all the platforms, but it is still an extremely versatile and very cheap VPN. And with special deals, just like the one on the screen, it has basically no match on the market. Is it the best VPN though? Well, that's for you to decide. Don't forget to check out our channel and subscribe for more reviews, tutorials, and other great content. And I will see you in the next video. I'm still here, unfortunately. But those limited deals are not gonna stick around, so tap the box on screen to get them.